Hello friends, this video on oscillations part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 21 before going ahead with part 22. Now we will look at a problem on simple pendulum. The problem says a simple pendulum of length L having a bob of mass capital M is suspended in a car. The car is moving on a circular track of radius R with a uniform speed V. That means, let us suppose this is a circular track on which a car is moving. Now inside the car, there is a simple pendulum. You can think the situation like this. Suppose you are sitting inside your car and mostly you have the mirror in front of your car, right? Just in front of the driver's seat, there is a mirror. So just below that mirror, we often have toys hanging or keychains hanging, right? So consider a simple, simple pendulum of that sort. Let us suppose there is a thin string and at the bottom of the string, there is some toy. So that is hanging inside the car. So that is behaving like a simple pendulum because it has a mass tied to an almost massless string from a rigid support. Right? So that kind of simple pendulum is there. Now if the car is taking, moving in a circular track, the pendulum makes small oscillations in a radial direction about its equilibrium position. Now it is talking about the pendulum. Let us suppose this is the pendulum inside the car. So this pendulum is taking oscillations in the radial direction. That means towards the center of the circular path about its equilibrium position. What will be its time period? So you have to calculate the time period of the simple pendulum. So the formula for time period is applicable for any simple pendulum. So we know that time period is equal to 2 pi root over L by G. So if we know the value of the length of the pendulum, that is the length of the string and the acceleration due to gravity acting on the pendulum, we can calculate the time period. Now length of the pendulum is clearly mentioned in the problem as L. So L is given. Now we have to calculate the net acceleration due to gravity which is acting on the pendulum. Basically, there are two accelerations. Since the car is moving in a circular path, there are two accelerations acting on the pendulum. What are they? The first one is the acceleration due to gravity, G. Now, if it had been, if the car had been moving in a straight line, then this would have been the only acceleration acting on it. And the second one, but since the car is moving in a circular track, therefore there is another acceleration known as centripetal acceleration. This comes into play whenever an object moves in a circular path. And centripetal acceleration is given by V squared by R, where R is the radius of the circular path and V is the speed with which the object is moving. The object here is car. So the car is moving with velocity V, that means the centripetal acceleration which is acting is v squared by r. So this acceleration acts on the pendulum as well. Therefore, what is the net acceleration? Net acceleration on the simple pendulum is equal to root over g squared plus v squared by r whole square. Why is it so? That's because if you see the centripetal acceleration which is acting on the pendulum will act towards the center of the circular path whereas the acceleration due to gravity will be acting vertically downwards. Right, the acceleration due to gravity will be acting vertically downwards and both these directions will be mutually perpendicular to each other. So we can say that the net acceleration is root over g squared plus v squared by r whole square. This is the normal, uh, I mean this is how we used to find out the resultant of two vectors, right? In our very beginning, the chapters at the very beginning of your syllabus. So we can say that, I mean, we, how, from where did we get this? We knew that for any vector a, we can write it as a1 plus a2 that is vector addition 
So when we talk about the magnitude of A, we can write it as root over A1 square plus A2 square. So here also the same thing. So we have two vectors, we are finding out the resultant in this form, root over A1 square plus A2 square. So therefore, we can say that the time period will be equal to root over 2 pi, 2 pi root over L divided by G. Instead of G, it will be root over G square plus V to the power 4 by R square. So this will be your time period. So let's look at another problem. Now let us have a look at problem 3. It says that the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of moon is 1.7 meter per second square. That is the value of small g on the surface of moon is 1.7 meter per second square. What is the time period of a simple pendulum on the surface of moon if its time period on the surface of the earth is 3.5 seconds. That means you have to calculate the time period on moon and you are given the time period on earth as 3.5 seconds. And you also know that the value of g on the surface of the earth is 9.8 meter per second square. So these are the values that are given and Tn is the value that is to be found out. Now what do we know? We know that the time period of a simple pendulum is given by root of 2 t is equal to 2 pi root over L by G. Where L is the length of the pendulum and G is the acceleration due to gravity. Now on the surface of the earth this t will be te. Length will remain the same whether it is earth or moon and G will become GE. Similarly, on the surface of the moon, it will be TM is equal to 2 pi root over L by GM. Right? Now, if, if we divide these two equations, we can say TE by TM is equal to 2 pi root over L by GE divided by 2 pi root over L by GM. So 2 pi, 2 pi will get cancelled, L, L will get cancelled and this will be equal to root over GM by GE. So from this we can say that TM is equal to root over GE by GM into TE. Now we have all these three values. What is TE? It is 3.5 seconds into what is GE? It is 9.8 divided by GM is 1.7. So this value comes out to be 8.403 seconds. So this would be the time period of the pendulum on the surface of the moon. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.